Hey, everyone. Hey. hey, Nick. Hey. So, I did create some game channels and stuff for everyone yeah. here. So, like, you know, you can, you know, if you're, I don't know, I just put game one, game two, game three, game four. Yeah, you know, so just pick just, one and go in there. Yeah. Just find your opponent, get in there. Uh, set up your servers by putting in the name somewhere, and I'll be jumping between because why not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Maddie, how you doing? So Nick lost oh. early, which sucks, because now that puts us behind eight ball. Well, so you know, thank step you. So thank it you up. for that. Nick. Yeah, thanks, Nick. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have to win. Alfred, I'm always expecting you to have to win. <laughs> I don't understand why you'd think otherwise. You do realize <laughs> expecting him to have to win is much different than expecting him to win. No, I yes. know. I know. Okay. Put more pressure on me. <laughs> do well under pressure. Uh, just we uh, are in a, in, a, in a trio tournament with uh, Juan Pablo and, and Cristobal. And Juan Pablo played the first game today, and he won. And I'm the last, the last one to play tomorrow. And I told Chris, "Hey, you better win, because I don't want to have the pressure of being the, <laughs> the one that decides." <laughs> exactly. Uh, Francisco, I'm running my own uh, uh, three-person tournament uh, for, and my team went 0 and 2, and I was like, "Okay, I really don't care how this game goes." Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> For the next one, I'll be the first to play. There you go. There you go. I don't want to be the last one. <laughs> Look at this, Nick. O Octacon not, is playing in the Space Jam again, and he's playing the same list. Yep. And he's top, what, what is his top 16? Guaranteed goes the time. Guaranteed. Is it, play, is it playing right time. now? Yeah. Is this, uh, what, Australia? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, they didn't have a full schedule, I think. I don't think there was a full 148 again. For this one, um, I don't know. I I've been painting my car today. I haven't paid much attention. Well, it's been a lot of X-wing for me today. I'll tell you that much. So I played my X-wing game earlier, and then I, I I was sanding the car before that, and then I got ready to paint it, and then I put the tent up out of my driveway so I could paint in the tent so we could shit it, and then my gun was all screwed up. The top I couldn't figure out why no paint was coming out. And it took forever to paint the damn panels. And then I figured out that the top, there's like a relief valve at the top of the cup, and that was clogged. So I fixed that, and then the paint came out like it was supposed to. But in my effort to figure out why the paint wasn't working, I took this like, almost like a little grommet that goes between the cup and the gun out, thinking that was obstructing the paint. And it wasn't. And then what happened was it did keep the paint from dripping from the can under the gun. And then I got almost done and then on the hood i went to paint it and then all of a sudden all of this paint ran out of the gun and dripped onto the hood uh. <laughs> oh i was upset Sucks. i used some profanity <laughs> shocking <laughs> so now tomorrow i have to re-sand that area of the hood so it's flat and then repaint the hood that sounds um, like oh, so the, the, the hood was ready when all the paint the hood out? was like I needed to just do one more coat and it was like basically done. And I was doing that last coat when it, it just the paint just ran all over out of the gun under the under the Yep. I didn't. I I I didn't get to meet you. I was actually out of town that day. Yeah, that was. The, you know, that's that that's pretty much your 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 strategy when talking to me, anyway. So I'm just used to it.
Yeah, there was, uh, there was, uh, I remember there was a reason why, like, a lot of us missed that day. <laughs> Jake's not coherent right now. Libertor. <laughs> There's a lot of cheese. Ah, uh, I mean, everyone. Well, I mean, none of us have seen each other in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Waver out, yeah. Plus, he, he was, uh, he, I mean, he was definitely heartbroken after Worlds. I've never seen someone so defeated after a world, uh, after a, a tournament like him. Yeah. I mean, he showed up, showed up, lost, and was just like, oh, yeah. it's like, okay, new game. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I became thirsty for more. <laughs> yeah, John at Worlds. I mean, it was what he was flying, you know. Like, I don't, I don't blame him, considering the fact he did really well with it and multiple times. Um, hey, they kicked uh, the team's ass. <laughs> They've already lost. It was a hyperspace. He brought a hyperspace list to to extend it, which is kind of already setting yourself back. Already, yeah. You didn't you didn't see the same list. I don't even think he saw that. That's the weird thing. He faced double K-wing Luke. Um, and he and he lost that game because he's like, oh, I killed one K-wing. And I thought, they were, I thought they were worth like only 40 points. And so he ran away for some whatever reason and like was up on points because they were like 80. You know, they were like 60 point K-wings because they were almost fully loaded or something like that. And then he just didn't do anything, and they killed they killed uh, his arc trooper, and that one like I I can't remember how he lost that game, but it was just like he just was out of it. Yeah, it was like a weird decision by him. He just like completely gave up on the game because he was like, "Well, I can't kill another K wing," and oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's. Ask, ask Jack that. He played 4K wings against my Separatist Swarm, and he really regretted that. Yeah. Yeah, Alfred. To to change the time, you'll right click, and you you can only put in seconds on uh, on 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 the ch in there. So whatever whatever that is in seconds, type it in, and that's fun. And then when oh let me oh jeez.
<laughs> yeah, use the tab. Always use the tab feature. Like point it out. Like call it out with the with the tab feature. That's the one nice thing. You, you hit tab twice, and it, it puts that big arrow right over top of something. So you can call out specifically, like, I'm using this, uh, this card or something. Yeah, where the hell? And Dan, right? Nah, that was the other night. Oh, wait, shit. Interesting. All right, so Alfred, you guys will take game one. Okay. He's already playing his game. Oh, shit. Oh. Where did, where did they make that match up? Oh, shit. That was... Wait, at 6 o'clock? Oh, that was yesterday. Where's his server? Uh, okay, that's fair. That's fine. You guys could do that too. Nice. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Shut up, Jack. I take offense to being called noise. <laughs> It's up to you guys. I'm just going to bounce around. Just make sure you put in uh, somewhere so I can jump in between the servers. That would just be helpful because I want to watch them and I'm trying to record as many of these games like, you know, this event because I think this is cool. Nice. All right. 
So, oh, I just realized I was speaking through. <laughs> uh, it was coming through there. Okay, so what's going on right now, everyone, if you're joining in? Um, I'm going to be jumping between the games and stuff. They're going to be getting some set up, so I, I, I will be back. Uh, I'm going to give it, like, five minutes and we'll jump in. I don't know. That's about, I think that sounds right. I got to clean up stuff outside anyway, so uh, it's going to take time. Uh, I'll be interested to go over all the lists and stuff and uh, just be a little patient with the camera swivels. So I'll be back. Thank you.
All right, I am back. I'm going to be jumping in. I'm going to try and be quiet for these guys. Um, so, jump into game four here. And let's see what's going on with the one that I actually know, the only name one I know for. Ryan. All right, so it looks like we got a, a droid swarm here. Uh, make sure. Oh, that probably helps. Howard swarm. Oh, versus a Sikh swarm. So he got. He does have triple discords. And I'm gonna, um, he does have triple triple discords here, and he is also using two plasma torps, which are basically worthless in this game. Um, and then he has three naked vulture droids. So, um, yep, getting that board edge set up. It's a uh, strong build formation. Everyone just kind of gets in line. Um, now here's the interesting, I know how Ryan flies this and he has Latine here. So Latine gets into range and will fire off, you know, trying to be, avoid discord range, uh, and will, you know, take an evade, shoot, miss, get an evade. Every time they shoot at him, he just keeps gaining an evade. He doesn't have to worry about crack shot stuff. So that's huge. Um, he'll probably... You know, he could. I, we could see him turn away. So I, I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen this this round. Um, yep. Blue. Now the Sikhs are all threes. They all have marksmanship and they all have auto blaster. So there's six of them plus Latin in there. And there, so it's nice because he gets to kind of really control all that. Um, and yeah, he's coming over there. Allows him to kind of swing in. Now, if you don't know Reinhardt, he hates TTS, but that's just because he hates TTS. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just he, you know, he's a longtime Basil player, so. Um, and let's see, Latine go here. Yeah, two straight. So, all right. I'm going to keep backing in and out, so uh, bear with me. I wish there was a way to like maybe maintain all four, but not really all that possible for me. Um, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and go to the next one. So turn to the main menu. And we'll go. We'll check out game two. All right, so I'm trying to find the, the name. They put it somewhere in Discord, so again. All right, join. There it is. I think this is really neat. I think this is one of the neat things that we're, we're starting to do as a community anyways, 
getting these uh, big games with across the worlds and stuff. Just kind of a neat thing, uh, in my opinion. All right, so I think we're seeing quite a different game here. Uh, I believe Alfred, he is purple player. Yeah, he's flying Rebels. He got Arvel with crack shot and Intimidation, 10 Nub, Luke, and Braylon. And we're seeing a, ooh, three Inquisitors and Rack. I like this list. I like the uh, simplicity of it still. Like, you know, yes, they're missing their, they're almost quintessentials, but I like this Rack. It, uh, you know, uh, trick shot Rack, maybe. Uh, depends on how he's going to fly him, but, you know, there's there's definitely a lot of variability here. Ooh, Arvel is already chasing down a an Inquisitor, uh, but... Ted Nub is not in a great position. Uh, we do have language barriers going on here, but that is perfectly fine because we all speak X-Wing. Uh, uh, so the, that's why they're kind of more doing, you know, uh, they're going to use their hands to control in-game stuff to really signify certain stuff. Yep, that's going to fail, and that was backward. Now, he should check all the way forward. Uh, all the way forward should fit. Oh, I guess they're coming to that agreement. Uh, and Luke... Uh, not really sitting on, oh well, all that bad, but uh, Rack is, so I guess Rebel player here in this game is moving uh, first, it's first player. Ooh. Why did that go to him? Yeah, Luke bumped. He gets no action. All right, glad I catch caught that uh, here for that one. So, all right, uh, let's stay for this round of combat. See if anything happens, and then I'm gonna make sure I have the third game. There is a fourth game, but the players are playing, keeping it private, so I'm not sure where what the information is. All right, Braylon, range two. So he's going into Inquisitor, and he's going to Braylon things up, like Braylon does. The one thing that's true about these, wow, wow, that is, um, really, this could almost be a dead Inquisitor. I'm so glad we stayed for this just to see what this card is. And it's a direct tick. He one shot an Inquisitor by accident. Wow. All right. Well, that's that's interesting. Uh, and now a two v a two v three shot from Arvel into Inquisitor Red. Spend it. 
Alfred showing hot dice. Hit crit. A safe. There we go. So that should be all the end of the shots this round. Um, that's, that's really unfortunate. All right. Well, I'm going to, I think we're going to jump back into, uh, into the other game here. Let's go see. Oh, I just realized you guys probably saw these passwords. That ain't good. I'm gonna hide that screen while I... <laughs> No one, anyone getting in and disrupting the game. That's the purpose. Not that I'm really worried about that, but just it can happen. Good news is I have the game back up. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, he got Lat <laughs> Latine sitting with three of aids, but is taking a damage no matter what from that discord. At least it's onto a shield at this point, so... Uh, looking like it's coming from yellow into there, so we're talking uh, he's going to have to spend both. Uh, yep. <laughs> so he spent a focus and evade to take nothing and then got an evade back. And so what he's doing is Ryan's maintaining his focuses. But this is working down and up the line. So, oh, another range three shot. No way. Ah. Uh. Guess what? Got to spend it. And then gets it back. That's the great thing about Latina and these things. They can just kind of get in, in where she needs to. The issue is, though, she has that buzz droid on her. Spend it, get it back. Another range two, two v three again. Ah, and spend it and get it back. <laughs> that's the frustrating thing about Latine, but hey, she does his best. Jeez, that's a lot of hits in a row. And it won't matter no matter what. And spend it and get it back and be safe. That is the last round, probably the last shot of this round. And I don't see any damage out. Oh, I see one damage out on green. So uh, probably Latina in that uh, in this brown one, number three here, might have done one damage into in, into green. So uh, is Ryan not up to date? This is the old ones. This server, someone's server might not actually be up to date. It's interesting. So Ryan's attacking now. I don't know why. Something went out of order here. 
These guys are all threes. These guys are all ones. Interesting. But yeah, Latine loses a shield now. All right, so if I'm Reinhardt here, I mean, you, you start converging with as many guys as seemingly possible, obviously. Um, I don't know what you do with Latin, uh, but these droids, I think everyone just too hard <laughs> to the right, you know? It's just too hard. Face that swarm because it's an autoblaster swarm. Uh, they don't want to take crits. And at this point, you've kind of blocked L Latine. And Latine's not, you know, just because you shoot at Latine, she's not worth shooting at. Um, and I got to look at the dial for these guys. So let me go. Scum. So for a seek, they have on their dial M3A interceptor. So they got a five straight, so that's the fastest, and they got a four straight also. So yeah, okay. So we're seeing a bunch of two hards here. I mean, Leighton might, because of that, Buzz Droid might consider flying five straight. Nah, I don't think the five straight would fit. He's going to eat another crit to just two straight bump and then maybe wall up into one guy and put a crit auto crit into one or like you bank one to the left. No, nah, you, you got to go. Ah, let's see that bullseye line up. Uh, it is not going to have it might have these guys in the back row. So the plasmas have target locked one person right now. So that's going to be three dice. Again, not that critical, but it's better than firing the two at this point. And he's probably not going to be firing a lot of discords this round. He still has two left. So that's going to be too close for the discords. I believe it's on brown front row and blue so both of them are front row so no worries there getting in close focusing a little too far away uh brown might get a discord off on green now and that might just be an auto damage Uh, that bullseye lineup, he'll have to check it because there'll be an auto crit into one of them. But I think you save Latine for later. Yep, getting out of arc. No point just getting walped. Or hurt, giving free shots into someone and for these droids. I think pink might have a shot into pink. Oh, gonna fire. Yeah, and he's gonna set it in the back. There you go. So he set it in the back. They could have just unlocked the one below. Yep, 
that's that. So second buzz droid. So he wasn't really firing it. They were repositioning. But this one, I don't think that fits. Yeah, so he sees that it doesn't fit. So I mean, that's, that's he probably loses a seek this turn with that with because of that. I mean, those plasma torps. I should have said earlier that they didn't mean anything. They don't. They're not as critical. I should have said, but they're still a good shot. And you know, it'll be three v three, twice. Uh, yeah, he should have him. Who's rolling four? Oh, the uh, that guy, that brown one. All right, into one of them. Yeah, so this is Ryan's chance to take guys off the board. Ryan never actually changes his dice. There you go. There's one dead one. So that's four hits. He spent his focus. And he just straight up killed. A uh, little bit of an overkill, but. So one of them is dead. Um. The crazy part is, is he doesn't even spend uh, one was a crit because it was bullseye. So he keeps he keeps him out there until he's until everything. So his calculate still matters for defensive purposes for the other guys. And we'll look what we see here. Wow, he has yellow in bullseye, but not red. Yeah. Most likely unobstructed. Most likely unobstructed. That's the most unuseful thing there. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of purple. I think that it's giving it... Yeah. So, so I think he's probably going to go and kill red here. Or... He can't shoot at white. And the, shooting at the bombers aren't, or isn't really that helpful. Well, actually, no. He fired that crit into them. I think you I think you fire a crit into that guy. All right, so definitely a crit. Uh, marksmanship, he again. And he can't avoid it, so he takes one crit. Yep, and that went into red, so which was a panic pilot, double stressed hurts um actually so after this round of combat we'll switch back to the other game see where they're at so that's latent shot um brown has shot yeah, you gotta kill kill white uh, range two in bullseye, so that'd still be three with auto blaster. I I'd take that. If you can kill the white one with bullseye, the reason why you want to do that is because that hurts the offensive power of the bomb hyena bomber. So one's definitely a crit. Oh, he's gonna spend it. Make it hit crit. And it's an eyeball, so he will spend that guy's calculate. Exactly. Only takes a crit. And the crit is... I'll come over. Console fire. All right. That's probably range three into that guy. I think you keep shooting at him. It's two dice no matter what, and it's a bullseye, and you can put another crit into him. Or, <laughs> he can, because it has no arc, he can auto-kill the buzz droid. He went for the buzz droid. It's the only reason why auto... And, yep. 
That's going to be three. He's rolling three for the that thing. And yeah. Wow. So he took off the buzz droid on green. The chances of him killing white are very low. So I think that was the right call too. Um, cause he can take, he's going to take crits if he doesn't avoid any damage and probably not going to avoid any damage. Uh, and Latine is taking a crit. <laughs> Watch it be like a direct hit. All right. Here comes the onslaught of assaults here. So this is probably the first plasma torp. Yep. From red. Who took panicked. Yeah, now he has to take that guy off the board. <laughs> Spend that guy's calculate. He's not going to have a t an action later, so I wouldn't. I would not spend that. I guess he's going to, he's figuring he can kill him. Just, wait, what? I spent that. And it takes two, because it's a shield first and then the hall. This deck didn't, damage deck didn't load. There we go. So two hole left on that guy. He's going to take a, probably another plasma torp shot here. Most likely be killed from it. Yep, second plasma torp. Uh, it is crits, but crits are canceled first. Yeah, now you spend it. Yeah, just re rolling the one. There, there's three hits. So he cancels the crit and takes just two regular hits, but that's enough to kill him. So this is white shooting, probably going to brown. That's range one. Oh, the console fire for white, safe from it. Nothing, just, or just one, so no other mods, safe. Uh, probably so the two droids have shot now brown is shooting same target another three dice two hits this time no mods no mods statistical roll no half of health left on that guy Yeah, hey, Brown got that range three shot in the yellow. Two V four. Oh, you spend, you just start spending your calculates. There we go. Uh, spend it and take nothing. Another 2v4. That's going to be two damage spending that calc. He's takes one. Shield off yellow. Uh, 
a blue shooting. Probably same guy. Might as well. Just keep, try to keep hurting them. Hey! There you go. And that's all of his shots. Alright, that's it for the round. Let's see what crit Latine takes, and then we'll jump back to the other game. Leighton took Loose Stabilizer. That actually was probably one of the worst crits he could have gotten for her. Direct Hit is, feels better than that. Alright, to the next game. We're at the next game. We're waiting for the next game. Two Inquisitors are still alive. Uh, and Rack is full health. And Ten Knob is down shields. What happened this game? That is the better question. And Braylon's down a shield. So two V two. Suspense focus and safe. Uh, who did he shoot at? Did he shoot it? I don't know who he shot at. Either way, he did not take damage. Um, hmm. Alright, so Rack is going to be out of the game for a little bit here. Luke, Luke's full health. Luke is coming in hot with a three straight, or probably a two straight. Um, I think Luke needs... Stop. Don't, Alfred... All right. Uh, here's the thing. I think you have Braylon kind of come in and try to hurt and keep it, let him keep his stress. Do a two bank to the right. Keep the stress because he, you know, they're most likely Red's gonna come in and bump. Uh, actually, he might not want to come in and bump because Arvel just Arvel does a one hard right. Yeah, I, if I'm Arvo, I'm one harding right. Because that bank, the bank will be fine too. So you, you could do a one bank to the right. Uh, ten, uh, what? These dials are fast. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, my guess is we're going to see like a the bank maneuver by Rack uh, to the left. Just going to try and disengage, probably take a lock or something. You know, he moves last. Um, if Alfred goes, he's Rebel. So if the Rebel player heads in towards uh, Rack, I think that's a bad idea. I think he should continue pursuit into these Inquisitors. Uh I can't see red really turning away, but you know, bumping into Arvel is a bad idea because it's intimidation armor and probably inquisitor dies before it even gets the sh chance to shoot, uh, with that 10 nub and Braylon act, uh, mods, sh double shots coming in. I mean, if I'm 10 nub here, I one straight and I'll 
bar fail barrel into Braylon, and Braylon comes in and bumps. I, you don't split the forces in this case. Uh, you got to keep everything in. This guy, green might bug out, which is fine. Luke's kind of out of this game right now. Um, I, you know, it'd be interesting to see what's going, how that gets into that, how they got into that shape. But maybe what we'll do is we'll have the big powwow at the end and kind of talk through. But I mean, sitting at full health, everyone else after, oh no, shields are down on green. Okay, so he did lose shields on one person, but uh, practically a full health rack and he's already almost killed 10 nub. Wow. Um, that's huge. Alright, so Arvel moves first. There you go. That's that one hard. And should focus and... Meh. Yep. Green getting out of there. Green's not going to engage, obviously, at this point. And here's the nice part about just doing that one straight with 10 nub is that he just gets to kind of still shoot at him, even though it's, it might be obstructed, but putting the pressure. Uh, if red bumped, then red is not having a good day. So link it into a focus, have a focus and a force. Ooh. Yeah, so this turn you kill red. I uh, hope you kept that stress, Alfred, on Braylon. Uh, that was, uh, not a good move. Yeah, Alch is right. I, uh, okay, so he's protecting Braylon a little bit, but Arvel's not going to kill Red. Now, Braylon could kill Red, uh, could kill Green, so that could be his saving grace. Oh, my goodness, I realize I don't have the full screen map on. This is the situation. Ah, oh, I talked through all that, and I didn't even have it on. Sorry. So, basically, it was everyone was facing this way. The two B-Wings turned that way. Arvo intentionally set up for that bump. Uh, Luke, yeah, getting rid of that target lock. He has to go into green. Do not shoot at Rack. You have to put everything you can into killing green this turn. Luke will always reacquire his almost always reacquire the lock, so take it on this green. Try and put another three dice. Maybe put one in. That will help Braylon put that extra additional damage in. Okay, we're seeing the lock on Luke. Being dragged to hey do it, do it, do it. There it is. Yeah, so he's shooting at green. Which is the right call. Now, rack is up. One banks. Reinforces the back. Gets the shoot. Now, 10 has a focus because of the stress. Yep. Into the, into the rear. The aft. Alright, so Luke should be shooting first. Alfred's happy that he finally gets to shoot it with Luke. A, 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 be it a 3v4. That's why you spend the lock. And spend the force. 
Hey, we've seen him blank up before. Uh, he has to spend something, so he's probably going to spend his force now. Force, yep. And he is safe. Rack into 10. A three with a crit generation. Double, almost possibly a double crit generation here. A 3v1. Wow, that is hugely lucky for Alfred on that roll. Getting one hit. Oh, jeez, Alfred. <laughs> it still goes through. Three hull left on ten. Now the return fire from the B wings. Yep. Three V zero. With reinforce. Takes one. He has to kill. He has to kill this green to keep ten alive. Um, 4v3. I mean, he could do this. Double reroll, focus, Braylon's Braylon. That is a hit, though. So we're seeing two hits. Uh, three hits now. Kills him. Wow. That's all he needed. That was another lucky shot. That's just crazy. That keeps Braylon in this game a little bit longer because the red's going to have an obstructed shot into him. Range two. Oh, going range two. Is that range two? Braylon is range two. Oh, hold on. Al uh, Alfred has to shoot first, actually. Spend it. Crack shot. 3v2. From Arvel. Good damage. Oh, spends the force and then gets it cracked. Wow. Ah. Here comes a crack shot. Don't forget the crack shot. Don't forget your crack shot. Yep. And a haul. So he did spend that force. Um, good shot by Arvel. Yeah, he spent that focus. I don't think he's shooting a 10. Uh, he's going into 10, so it'll be 2v2. 
And he has a stress to spend. Oh, that's a crit. That's a big crit. Well, he's forgetting things, but whatever. Yeah, two dice. Just reroll. Same result. No. Yeah. So ten nub is one hole left. Now. Arvel did good work. Problem is there's this full health rack out there. Or almost full health rack. So uh, we'll jump back into this after we return from the other game. I did not get the server mission information for the other two games. So we're just doing these two. Block that. Uh, let's rejoin that. Ah, uh, classic TTS. Crashing like it never crashed before. Alright, so only two ships off the board for Ryan right now. Latine's still alive. I see. Two, two dead droids. More dead droids. Yeah, it's just still two dead droids, but we, we might see some bullseye shot kills. Ooh, is that a range two? Yep, bullseye into one of them. Auto crit one. Can't avoid it. Into pink, full, who's full health. Still takes both. Or still takes one. Oh, disable power regulator. Only, oh, he will be ionized next turn. That actually really hurts. Now, does Latine have enough to kill him? By the way, what is Latine sitting at? Ah, oh, sitting only at one hull damage. Ryan still got a full guy out there, so. Looks to somehow fix that crit. Ooh, big miss. Oh, misses but gets in a bait. <laughs> okay, so blue in the pink now, range one in bullseye. That's four, that's automatically one damage, which will be a crit. And he just, jeez, he can't get two hits there. So he needs a direct hit to help Latine out a lot. Stunned. Guy can't hit a rock. Um, go for the kill shot. Brown has one hall, two hall left. Yeah, I think you just keep killing. That'd be range one, auto blaster, three dice. For one. Safe. All right, so it's droid shot time. Three v three with an evade. Wow, that's a lot of hits. Takes a crit, so it's just going to be one crit. So that will hit, uh, and this going to be dead latent. 
Stunned pilot. He can't hit rocks now. One hole left on Leighton without an evade token now, so that's big. I think pink should be dead here. Uh, blue did not do the damage uh, as expected. That was under you know a bad rule, but you know I also don't really like any of the positions for anyone right now. Still going into Leighton. And just one. Safe and gets an evade. That's big. Because that next shot is a lot harder to do to any real damage. He could go into Brown, who is hurt. I think you actually take that shot. It is range one, though. It's, it's either 2v3 or 3v3 with an evade. And this is his, possibly his last shot for the round, so. All discords are gone, though. Two plasmas left. Oh, he decided to go into Leighton, spending a cock. Spends the evades, doesn't matter, Leighton's off the board. Yeah. Yep, that is a dead Latine. All right. Let's go see the other game. Do, 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 do. This time I'm not going to mess up the viewing. All right, so 10 nub is still alive. I have a feeling Luke is not liking today by taking three crits. Oh, that was in the 10 nub. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> so 10 died there. Yeah. Oh, three crits. Ah. I... Oh, uh, and Braylon's on a rock. Arvel has no shots. There should be no shots. Oh, Braylon. All right, I'm, I'll be back, and we'll see how this game goes on the next turn.
All right, let's see. So it looks like Alfred is still trying to set his dial. Uh, and there's about 30 minutes left in this game. Luke should be three Talon rolling to the right. That's not really all that great of a position anyways. He'd have to go forward and then, yeah, I mean, he kind of do it just to keep the shots on. Um, the biggest issue here is Braylon has gone onto a rock and will not have actions next turn. So I think you try to do a maneuver that keeps you stressed. And Rack is just owning his B-Wings, which should be the other way around, personally. Now, the good news is Luke can do some good work in the Rack, so he can try and play a pretty good game against Rack here. Arvel is a threat to Rack, um, even at range 2, because it's 3v3, and Arvel can just keep his focus. Uh, and slowly whittle Rack away, so... Uh, and if he does get that range zero into him, whew, Rack just accepts fate and doesn't even dauntless and just gets hurt. And then, you know, they disengage and kind of re-engage. And that could be like just three really good damage into Rack. Uh, and Matt is doing a really good job with the using trick shot to his advantage, getting, you know, He's trying to figure out Luke's style. Luke better not 4K here. He'll be double stressed. Three town roll to the right is an okay call, but that's about it. I think he just boost. Uh, don't really like that boost. So we should be seeing the one bank, right? Yep. This is going to go wallop in the Braylon. Because Braylon's not going to... Uh, Braylon might actually get actions. Yeah, not through the rock. And you focus barrel back. You you back up because of the fact that No, do not go that way. You're just sac oh, he's just sacrificing. He's not going to have a shot in the rack. Oh, that's good. Thank goodness. That was such a bad idea. Now, Red has one hall left. Oh. No, you can't go to the left. It closes wing. You ain't gonna have act. Uh. Ah. <laughs> just, just stay there. Hey, we are now 1-1 one, one in the games. Uh, we had Dan. I couldn't get that game stream. Get us a nice win. 173 to 100. Taking it the time. Um, to, yeah, he just he target lock. So, good win here. I hate how if you do the target lock action, it shows if it's obstructor or not. There should, it just shouldn't. Yeah. 
rack is up. Rack is like, I don't like you, and I will wall up and do tons and tons of damage to you when I change my reinforce. To he has to do it to the rear for, for the shots into Braylon. Yep. Uh, it won't matter for Luke for reinforce for damage, but Rack. I, I think you keep going into Braylon. saying Luke is not the target so I guess he's going into Braylon I would like to see all the options wow you think get four dice into it'd be 4v3 into Braylon I'd take that shot yep trick shot four dice <laughs> no auto crits. So just three hits. All right, now Braylon reroll. And that's Braylon for you. No, Braylon has no shot. There's no shot for the Rebels this turn. I don't like Arvel's position. So, two feet two. Yep, spend whatever he has. That was a hit, it's like weirdly hit. So. Try and get another commentator here. He's watching the Alpha game. I will. Oh my god, I had that off the entire time. Oh, please, just. I need someone to just help me. All right, it's back on. It's not a very action-heavy round anyways. And, yeah, so let me... I'll... There we go. I think I have everything set up. You know, a big shout out to Francisco um, for setting this all up. It was really awesome of him to kind of do this for us. Now, I'm trying to get one of my podcaster co-hosts to come in. Dan! Speak of the devil. Hey. And I'm here. I was perfect. I was like, where is he? I ch messaged him. Uh, <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, I, I tried to send you a message to bring you in, uh, to get in, to get into general, so that way you could join in. Because I'm watching the Alpha game right now with you. and Yeah, I, I'm going to log out because Alfred's game isn't loading for me. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pull out and watch this. How can I tap directly into the stream? Uh, you can 
watch it at twitch.tv slash Duke of Hobbies. Almost like I set you up for that. I think so. I appreciate it. Have that. we have we been practicing this? Actually no, we haven't, so <laughs> and we should be. <laughs> now am I gonna be on like a two or three second delay for Yeah, you? Uh, I mean the other thing is I can just share my screen real quick with you. If the, if you want me to do that. I can just I can I can double double stream. Yeah, um, let me try that because for a second I got the uh, the echo. Oh yeah, you because you'd have to mute your audio in Twitch. Yeah. So Alfred's gotten really lucky this game. He has actually not only one shotted one Inquisitor, but he has taken another one off the board with almost no <laughs> by pure luck too. So that has done yeah. pr pretty good damage. I was just uh, shooting the shit with him uh, in in channel. And he was saying that yeah, he one-shotted one Inquisitor. Um, he feels like Luke hasn't done a whole lot. Well, he hasn't uh, because he actually has not really put Luke into into the game. So that would do that. Um, yeah, he he's made some interesting decisions. I think he focused targeted pretty well at some points and then didn't at others. Um, you know, he he basically threw away ten nub, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, he's not, he, like, the, yeah. he, there was this one round. Okay. So the reason why red is at th one hall left is because Arvel did a range one range zero crack shot shot into him. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Great move. Um, but he had no other shot behind him to try and kill mm. that guy. Um, he, but he got lucky because he did such a bad move with 10 nub that Braylon one shotted an Inquisitor. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And he just, yep, yep. I, like. I mean, he, he, the only saving grace right now is Arvel does have a shot. The chance of Arvel killing that Inquisitor is very low, but we've seen it before now twice. Right, Ra but Rack, Rack is just owning on him. That. Rack is just owning him this game. He, it's a one, one shield down Rack, and he shot at him one time, all game. Yeah, I think. So obviously, it's it's easy here sitting on the sidelines. Obviously, yeah. I, I'm only critical because um, I'm tired and I've had a few shots. Uh, <laughs> that's a really i i'm gonna set the headphones down it looked like chuck also joined us another hey, of chuck. our uh, podcast co-hosts um so i am going to step out for about 30 seconds let chuck talk and then we're gonna come back with some thoughts and uh we can critique uh, alfred's playing oh here's double crit and a hit from rack into i think he's shooting at luke uh taking one no matter what, who that going to is in the Luke. All right, this could be the saving grace shot here. Firing a range one into the Inquisitor. Unmodded Arvel. Can can he do it? He could almost do this. That's two. He needs a statistical rule to... St wow. Oh, my God. Just... Oh, <laughs> oh holy jeez. Did he just kill another yeah, Inquisitor by pure luck? Yes, he did. That's... This guy's Inquisitors, uh, he should just not roll a vase. He should just not roll the green dice for his, his Inquisitors. Let someone else or roll. I, so there, there's that, and that happens to V1. I, I, you, you, you know I love that ship. I do. It's uh, one of the most fun ships to fly, um, but the green dice just blank out. Right. Uh, I will say, because they do that, and because Inquisitors have that built-in force mod, you really want to be taking the evade out action a Ooh. lot more than he seems to be right but um, luke is going to take a crit here so 
At least he gets that. Yeah. At least, at least he gets some solace in that. So it takes two crits, but one's a shield and flipping. Weapons failure. Not bad for Luke because that's bad. But given his position, it's not the end of the world. He's not shooting next turn anyway. Yeah, if 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 he three towns here. Oh, he can't. Okay, good. He can't. He's stressed. But if he, he tried to do get... the four K, which the four K would have been great with Luke there, but yeah, he but... self blocked with Braylon. Right. Right. Which was bad. Um, I, and it's know. it's one of those. I don't know that the the barrel roll to the right was wrong with well, Braylon. He went too um, slow with Braylon in the first place. Right, and the fact that he keeps stressing Braylon, like. B-Wings are amazing, tight, turning knife fighters, but... Well, here's my he's... thing. Here's my thing. Just keep the stress with Braylon at times. Like, this next turn, just yeah, and do, do it too hard. Just do the too hard. Because um, if he doesn't do the too hard, Braylon's not going to have a shot in Iraq. And he... This is the only time he can shoot in Iraq. Now, Arvel is probably going to get lit up here. Um, and if I'm... If I'm, he... if I'm Alfred, I think I one hard with Arvel, Barrel... And then stay put, or maybe boost. I I would actually I would actually barrel roll left and then boost right. Yeah, uh, that's I what think... I mean. Like, yeah, if he can, if he if he he can fit right here, he'll sit right behind this rock, which is actually yep. scarier because this is a trick shot rack uh, with fifth brother. Oh god. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's how he's I didn't been realize that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he can sit right here. Do that barrel and boost, and that should block, but he's just going to one straight here. But that's okay, since his arc is not facing Arvel. And he ain't going to rotate it. He's not going to rotate it for Arvel. So, if I were going to call what Alfred is going to do here, he's going to do the one hard left with Arvel. I think the right answer is actually... I like the two hard with Braylon. I think the one bank and then barrel roll left. I don't think he gets a shot. Um, right. He has two shields left, but I think it's worth... At this late in the game, he needs to start doing damage, especially with a weapons failure, Luke. Um, well, like I said, Luke, Luke one banks to the left yeah. and flips the weapons failure. Right. And the next turn, he talon rolls, and he's back in the game. He's Luke. He does that. Yeah, well, Luke and Rack don't mix well. Rack, I take Rack over Luke pretty much a, a good good number of times here, just because of the fact that Rack is firing three dice back at him, and with a, and most likely you're not doing enough damage with Luke, even though you're target locking a ton of times. Yeah. Well, we shall see. I need to step away again. There's a. Uh... Sounds Some good. kind of commotion going on outside, and I need to figure out what's going on. Well, I'll be right back. Stay safe. Chuck, you want to jump in on this too? Did he? Okay, so he did the three hard to get around. Oh, he clearly hit that. Yeah. That's going to hurt Arvel. Oh, and that's a shield off Arvel. That's a big, big miss. Big hit there. Uh, one bank. Trying to get that stress. I mean, now you focus and barrel to the left again. Okay. So Arvel, yeah, hit the, Arvel did a three hard to the left. It hit the rock. I mean, yep. he's cl clipping I it. I see that. Um, he did what you called to do. Okay, uh, he's flipping Luke's wings. I'm not sure why. He needs to get rid of that weapons failure more than anything. I actually like that position for Luke because it's definitely range three. No, no. Flip the... Uh... What? Is... No! I don't think Alfred's going to K-turn next turn. He's just going to... He's gonna too hard. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna call Which dead. Is... Uh, I'll, I'm gonna call a dead. Uh, Arvel here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's exactly what he should have done with Rack. That was perfect maneuvering. Right. Um. 
and he's in a position where Arvel cannot turn <laughs> into him next turn, even if he survives. Oh, yeah, he knows he's he knows he's in a good spot. Well, here's the interesting thing. I think Braylon does have him, so that's good damage, but it's not going to be enough damage. It's, at most, it's going to take off his shields. Yep. So, yeah, this is... And, and Braylon's next turn is set up very badly. He can't, he can't one bank. Right. So he can't strip his stress. Spends the target lock. That's definitely two crits already coming. Fifth brother for the second one. And that's gonna, I. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's that's not good. That is not good right now. How you doing? Well, um. Alfred's not doing well right now. What's he playing? The Muck Swarm? He's playing... No, he's playing uh, three Inquisitors, which he's killed... I'm, I'm going to say all by pure luck. No, what, and, what, is, what is Alfred playing? Not what is he playing against. Oh, what he's... He playing? No, he's flying to be... He's flying 10, Braylon, Arvel, and Luke. Okay. Um, and Daniel, Daniel, did you win? Yes, I did. Well done. Damn it, Nick. Would you, you end up won, winning? I mean, yeah, I won. Nice. I was worried there early. Yeah, I was worried there early for you too. Um, so I got <laughs> he had a drone that I needed to kill because he had a range one shot him Leighton. I saw I that. Had... <laughs> Did you see what happened there? No, I, I, I well, what... I saw you kill. You took a buzz droid off the board. You actually shot at a buzz droid. I well, I had to because I mean it didn't matter that guy died anyway, but like it was still worth. I, if he maybe he lives if I don't. But so Leighton is at range one. He's that's like four v three or something. Four v four at this point. And I've he's got I've got two range one two shots at this drone in bullseye out of arc, okay, and the the second shot is a four v two with a focus. The first guy shoots and rolls one hit, turns into a crit, and he does a damage. The other guy with the focus at range one rolls three blanks and a focus or something. Oh, I yeah I saw that engagement. Yeah. So I don't kill that guy, and then that guy shoots at Layton and lands. And rolls like three hits, and Leighton rolls an evade and spends evade and takes crit. And then she dies to the next two shots because she. Like, you didn't... you you blanked out. You you got eyeball eyeball of a blank on the one, and he had gotten uh he got a hit blank uh, eyeball and a blank, and he's like, oh, I have a calculate, I'll get two, and you're just like, great, one damage goes through still. Yeah, I didn't think that he had the calculate. I just for some, for some reason I saw that I was like, I didn't think he got me. I didn't, it didn't matter, but like the problem was because Pink didn't die. Leighton died. Right. And if, Pink, and if Pink dies, like he's supposed to 90% of the time. Yeah. Leighton, Leighton doesn't take any damage. Leighton's just fine. Like whatever. Like I, I've got an evade. You've got a range one and range two shot. Like maybe you do a damage to me, but probably not because you have no action. So like whatever. I don't care. Then Leighton dies and now it's like uh, butt clenched, you know, because now it's a little closer than it needs to be. Well, um, so here's we we got about 10 minutes left, nine minutes left in this game. Uh, and I'm just trying to catch you up here. Arvel is at one hall left with a, he took a wounded pilot, which hurts him, but, um, and Luke has weapons failure and he didn't fix it this last round. Yeah. It, I don't know why he didn't fix the weapons failure. I don't know. It why makes either. no sense. Luke doesn't need to focus now, in that position. And, and Braylon is in, in a, such a bad spot. Because Braylon, yeah. who has two shields and four hall, le four hall left, has to either do it too hard and face another rock next turn. Oh, and by the way, the reason why he had to re-roll an additional die for rack is because that was in a range one obstructed shot into Arvel. How, how is Jack doing? Uh, Jack has eight minutes left, and that's all he has said. I have not been in touch with him at all. What was that? Jack has eight minutes left, and he hasn't said anything uh, since yeah, then. And we can't, and we can't go see his. his game. Yeah, they never posted. Yeah, uh, Dan and yeah, Dan and Jack didn't put the uh, server information up. Right. Yeah, gonna, sorry gonna, about that. Gonna, That's alright. I'm gonna go listen to. Him. Yeah, so I think with uh, with Arvel here, I think the three hard is blocked, which is I would think about doing the three hard to the left, but I think it's blocked. Uh, and I think it's blocked sufficiently I, that I'm going to say... I, I think he a needs... two hard fits. I don't. I don't think any of the hards to the left fit. I think he needs to three sloop to the right. Because Rack is probably going one bank to the right this turn. 
yeah. he wants Rack shooting at Arvel. Yeah, as that's weird true. as that sounds. Yeah, I I agree with that. Uh, yeah, you, you might as well just turn, get the range shots. I yep. uh, the problem is I, I Al, Alfred is not really into. Oh, Jack's here now too. I I don't see uh, Alfred actually doing that though he doesn't yeah he, he and doesn't, then i he, think he's k turned so many times with luke and it has yet to pay off for him that i feel like he's probably thinking okay i don't k turn anymore right now oh, wait. so alfred was only against a decimator now yes yep and the decimator is oh. wrecking him yes uh by the way it. by the way alfred has one shotted basically all is has one shotted two inquisitors this game one in okay, the first we... round of shooting then he's very lucky. Oh yeah, it was a range three Braylon shot, a range, a range two Braylon shot into an Inquisitor who has, I think, uh, has a focus and force. Oh, that three hard fit. Barrel, barrel to the left. So the good news, guys, well at least the good news for Pittsburgh is that Jack won. Hey. Good game. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he ran uh six. He ran Six seeks with auto blaster marksman. So what happened, Francisco? Why did you? Why did it not work out? Uh, I had two. Well, I mean, other than Jack played Guri to perfection, sure, but sure. I think there was there was a key point where I was jousting Guri with four of them, and uh, the guys coming from my left did a three straight, and then two coming from my right who like flanked really good one of them tried was setting a block the other one was waiting but then guri did a three straight and completely art dodge all of them yeah don't go after guri first uh, yeah. yeah and uh yeah but we're we're saying maybe i thought of doing a one bank with the ones coming from my left to try to put uh, so that no matter what he did, I would shot. Why is he not just dropping the? It'd be, uh, he, Alfred doesn't know how to do. Oh, you guys are talking about the game. So oh, sorry. Then, no, you're uh, good. You're good. Talk. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but I said, if I do the one bank and he comes through my back, I'm lost. So I, I'm just gonna go faster. So... Maybe I should have done a two, but I think he would have arc dodge anyway. So, so here's the thing. Um, Ketsu can't reposition. And it's going to be really easy to catch Bullseye on Ketsu because it's an enormous ship. Um, and, you know, if you can kill Ketsu, and you should be able to kill Ketsu pretty quick because she's only got two shields and a whole lot of hull. So those crits are going to really add up. Well, three in this case. Three shields. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, I mean, whatever. I got half with two guys shooting at shooting Exactly. So, so so, my point is, like, when you see a ship, like a big ship that doesn't have reposition and, Gur and Guri that is, like, the monster reposition, um, the right answer is to just kill the big ship first. Because if you kill that Ketsu first... Hey, real quick, real really... quick. Do you ever want to see a one-shot Luke? A, a one-die Luke attack into a rack obstructed? Why is he... Because he has, has he kept his S foils closed. And he's got weapons failure? Yeah, he has weapons failure. Well, I would hope that he goes like one straight and fixes that next turn. Well, he I think did, he's forgotten. He's completely forgotten. Well, let's tell him. I am. I mean, they're talking about it in the chat in the room. Oh, you did. I am. Okay. He totally <laughs> didn't flip those until just now. <laughs> oh, jeez, Alfred. Uh, okay, so anyway, so the oh, point, oh, the point okay, whatever. Francisco is if you shoot, um, that takes half his offense off the board. Oh, yeah, and, more than and that. He, well, and, and not just half his offense, half of his control. Yeah, well, you then you don't have to worry about getting tracked, or you don't have to worry about any of that shit anymore. Um, and then if even if you have three or four ships against Guri, like Guri's got to watch out for that nonsense because. You can you can spread the net and crisscross and catch Guri. I mean, Guri's very, very mobile, very very mobile, but she's not so mobile that she can always dodge that many arcs. Um, and you know, usually when you have that many two attack ships, Guri's like, whatever, I'll take a range three shot or range two shot. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, but you, Guri can't afford to take any range two shots because if it's a crit, she's going to eat it. And there's a lot of crits that Guri doesn't want to see. Panic pilot. 
uh, damaged engine. Real quick um, question, you know. guys. With Rack's ability in this one, okay, he reinforced the back, and yeah. Braylon sits middle. Does he get his re... re no. His, yes. Yeah. No. He does? He, so he gets the, the ability from Rack, but not the, the ability no. from reinforce. reinforce. Okay. Oh. Yes, he doesn't get the reinforce because yes. Braylon is flanking him. Gotcha. Yeah. Two. And, and here's here's a weird one. You know the more, uh, the the new decimator that you can end up with two reinforced tokens. Yeah. Yeah. You keep it right. You have it in the front, then you keep it, move it to the back, and then reinforce the next round. So you yeah. reinforce on both sides. Yeah. If but if you're straddled, them, if Braylon's if you're... in the middle, neither of them count. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, Braylon reroll. Flanking. Oh, jeez, that wasn't a reroll. Reroll. Re oh God, she... <laughs> Alfred. Is this? Lag or is no, it? No, he he hit E. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He still got it. Yeah. He just, okay, so he it's just the stream. Not... Why is this so laggy? What is happening? Well, I'm double streaming here, and yeah, those guys are. Uh, I thought it was me, but if you no, guys are it's... laggy, it's not me. Yeah. It's... All right. No, it's not you. It's Nick. It it, it is we blame me. Any lag on Nick? That's fair enough. Um, yeah, I. I agree with that sentiment. Ketsu dies incredibly quick. To that. To anything. Well, Rack just two, took two direct hits there, so. Woohoo! Well, the thing is, not only that, um, the uh, the fact that Ketsu is going to be really susceptible to those crits. Yeah. Like, if it, if it with marksmanship and auto blast and all that stuff, like, I, it's with marksmanship, because what you can catch Ketsu in Bullseye pretty a lot. way easier than Guri. Mm -hmm. had multiple bullseye shots on ketsu he had so, one uh, on Guri. i think i think actually there's... i don't think he had any bullseye shots on Guri. no it'd be very yeah hard. i had one because you lost a shield to the you, i you rolled the crit yeah yeah he just rolled it so i, I yeah. think uh for instance, i so rolled the, it all okay. the key there is you have to look and say which ship can i kill the easiest fastest and because Guri is just so damn mobile, like you may never uh, get to. Get oh, to that's get that is the last round. Oh, never mind. They're yeah, gonna do right. one. They're gonna do one more. They went to dial, so. Right. If, you, if like so, let's say you're going against like Rack Whisper, just kill Rack first. Just, I mean, just yeah. hang up, hang all the crits on him, and then you can deal with Whisper later. Um, uh, anytime there's a big ship on the board against with those seats, you probably just kill the big ship first because you're going to do so much potential damage to it so fast that the ace or whatever its support is is not going to be able to keep up. Yeah. All right. So quick rundown though. What was the final? What was ended up being the final scores for both you, Jack, and um, and then also for you, Ryan? I was. It went to time, but we had like two hull left on his bomber. Um, you went to time dude, I know. for shame. I'm, I'm so mad about it. I also went to time because the ton was on the table. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Leighton is the best. Although, yeah. Leighton doesn't really do anything against your list, Jack. I, I didn't shoot at Leighton. Yeah, I mean, but even then, Leighton is no different than a normal seat because you're probably going to just hit her with three, three attacks. I mean, you can only change dice that you have. So, and Ryan, you beat you beat Juan Pablo. I I did. I beat one. One eighty three to one hundred and one. Wow. What what did you what did you you went with the six? I went, I played the six. Yeah. Um, he the it six. was it was I was you can ask Nick and he was streaming. I was behind early. Oh yeah, you took you took that Discord and I think there was. I know from your attack dice, you're you're actually you were okay on evades for a little bit until that one round. But there's that one that first real round of combat from you. It's like you should take one off the board, and you're like, never mind. <laughs> so I forgot. I wanted to check the dice stats. I forgot to do that. Um, I, yeah, I mean there were a couple early. There were a couple. There was like two or three rounds where the dice were just like really weak for me, and then he, his returns were way better than they should without any action. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and then there was another turn where I had Leighton was at range one of a dro of a drone, and it was like four ships versus four ships, maybe four ships versus five ships. It was you know it was kind of like the mid game, and um, Leighton is at range one of a of a drone, and I had two out of our bullseye shots on that drone. The one guy has no actions because DK turned, 
Okay, fine. He shoots, gets one hit, turns into a crit, and it's like a, a disabled power regulator or something like an eye on crit. And then the other guy is at range one behind him in bullseye with four, so it's four dice with a focus. And I rolled like three blanks and a hit. Did I have a focus? I think I had a focus. You had a focus, yeah. and you rolled three blanks and just a hit, and then, yeah, and then Marksman triggered, and you're like, Marksman great. Turned into, a, turned into a crit, and then it's like a stun pile or something, right? So I don't kill this guy, and, like, I kill him almost, every, like, 90% of the time. It, it, he should die. So not only do I not kill him, he gets to keep his calculate, too, to stay alive. So then he shoots back at late. Oh, jeez. Or Leighton shoots, and I get my evade because I shoot him. Uh, but he shoots back at Leighton and gets two crits and a hit after he spends his cap. <laughs> uh, well, Braylon dies. No. So I then roll, like, one evade, spend the evade, take a crit. It's a stun pilot. He shoots me again. No, I, and I, always, I was already down one hull, so I only had two hull left. So he shoots me, I take a crit, I'm down to one. He shoots me again, and he misses. So I get my evade. Then he takes another range one shot, I think without any... Maybe he had a calculate? He had a calculate. And he rolls... Um, he gets two hits. And I roll no evade, so I die. So, you know, the moral of the story there is that if if the pink guy dies like he's supposed to, then Leighton is facing two shots with an evade and probably doesn't take any, any damage instead of dying. Um... It was a little frustrating. Uh, but either way, I still, because I think I flanked so well, I, I was able to, I had ships coming from two different directions for the mid game. And he didn't have a good answer for that. Like he turned at the two guys that I brought up around the long way. And then the other guys were behind him um, and just peppering with crits. And then like I was able to keep, I was able to always basically have someone out of arc behind him. Um, and it just it just kept adding up, and then he made a mistake. Like he was still kind of ahead, and he made he had a he had a drone that you know, the guy probably should have died in the opening, but didn't. It took a console fire twice and didn't roll any hits. He turns and just clips a rock, forgetting that that's the one guy he has without grappling struts. Oh! So he takes the damage from the from the rock, and then on the way off, and then on the way off, he takes the damage again. Can can we wait? Hold yeah. on. Can we just say the luck? that uh alfred has had again he puts a crit and it's blinded pilot into rack oh well that's nice yeah and, but he's probably gonna kill braylon here because <laughs> braylon decided to fly right onto a rock so oh, either way guys, this guy, i mean the game was the game was pretty close um whatever bad luck i had early was oh, even down This, this, this is a big crit. Still lives. Does not kill Braylon. He had, he had everybody shooting at Leighton, and the only damage Leighton took was from the Discord that he put on. That, that's why I didn't bother shooting at Leighton. <laughs> I know I can. Three attack shots? Like, Leighton, Leighton is basically another Centauri Point veteran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she makes no difference. No, she's, she's yeah. just, she's, she doesn't care. She is there specifically to deal with the two attack swarms. Yeah. Because she's functionally immune. Like, Juan kept shooting at me, and I had three of eight, of eight tokens. I was like, okay, good luck, go ahead. Then he'd <laughs> shoot me, I'd need to spend an evade, I'd get it right back, and I still had three. I was like, oh, okay, keep, sure, keep going. <laughs> keep shooting me, that's fine. All right, so I don't know who won this game because it's a half rack of ribs out on the board, and we have half on everyone else with a dead 10 nub. Well, you can add it up. I could do the math, but I don't want to. Because it would be great if you're the only one that lost, Nick. Hey, you know what? It happens. <laughs> it happens. I know, but you, you snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> that was that was not my fault, okay? I sure. can't help I can't help it when you when someone rolls three hits natty six to, uh, three times in a row. It just takes off have, seven. You shouldn't eight. have been standing there. You shouldn't have been standing there. I mean that, that can happen.
I did have one big mistake that game. Uh, but they, I think the uh, Boba dying when he did was like, you gotta be kidding me, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, but by the time Boba died, you were in deep trouble anyway. Oh, they um, both had one hull left. That's what I mean. Like, it didn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, I, I killed, I almost <laughs> killed Obi Wan at that way, and like, if Boba doesn't die, I win. Uh, sure. Okay, boys, I'm gonna go check out my fellow guys. But, uh, well, Francisco, thanks great. for setting this up, by the way. Yeah, this was fun, Francisco. This was awesome. Yeah, it, it was great. It was great. So, as I as I was telling Ryan when we talked about this, I, I'm sure this was going to be just the first time. Of, yeah, we'll, we'll do it every once in a while. Please. Every few months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I Absolutely. Have, I, have. I am. This was so much fun. Thank you, guys. Great. So, Francisco, one question for you. I know you wanted to practice that sequence with me. What time is your game tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I play at, um, ah, we have the same time. I play at, uh, let me check. I think it's four. Four in the afternoon? Yeah. Uh,